Cleanup right now is just getting underway after what's being called a thousand year flooding event. We have team coverage for you right now, starting with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Amanda Callahan. She is live in Oxford, one of the communities here hardest hit. Amanda? Well, Mark, right behind me is just one of the several businesses here in Oxford completely destroyed in yesterday's flooding. Behind me is what used to be the bar's patio just less than 48 hours ago. And last night, 10 people were stranded here waiting out that storm. So over here, this is the line. Nearly two feet of water flooding the boar's nest in Oxford last night. So we had about five, six tables in here all the bar stools. We had about 10 people in here. Tiffany Berthold was working her Sunday night bartending shift when what seemed like a little rain turned into what she described as an absolute disaster. We were watching the water rise and we were watching everything just flow down. The water was going so fast. Then the garage door just popped open and we got so much water blown inside the whole place. Outside that garage door, once the bar's patio now completely washed away. Mike Lindbergh and Sabrina Zalik were on their way home from Southbury when the rain started picking up. They decided to take cover at the boar's nest, one of their regular spots. We thought we were doing the right thing, and it ended up being almost, you know, a tragic thing to do. And tragedy did strike in Oxford. According to state police, two women were swept away by the raging floodwaters. 65-year-old Ethelyn Joyner and 71-year-old Audrey Rostkowski, both of Oxford. Oxford's fire chief confirming one woman was clinging to a sign when the waters became too much. One of the ones that drove in to the, the, the water and we saw her car and, and unfortunately yeah. she she was holding on to the pillar. You see the firemen out there, they couldn't even do nothing. Nope. You know, they, they tried, but they couldn't do nothing, you know, to try and get in there. They tried everything. All 10 people evacuated the bar around 6 o'clock, seeking higher ground at another business in the same plaza, where they waited out the storm until 2.30 a.m., all grateful to make it out safely. We're safe, and we made it out, okay? So, you know, we did what we had to do, and we stuck together. And now, the owners of many of the businesses here in this plaza were out here all day today getting a head start on that cleanup process, but the town is still working on picking up the pieces. The school superintendent in Oxford telling us that the school buildings will remain closed tomorrow as well. There will also be no athletic practices going on. They're hoping to reopen on Wednesday. Now, as for the first day of school, that is still set for August 28th at this time. Live in Oxford, Amanda Callahan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.